Comics Plus, what is going on? My name is Akasan. How are you guys all doing? It's uh, time for the next episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This one is 58 minutes. Let's make this happen, Captain, man. Uh, thank you for joining me here uh, with a very, very crazy ending. Uh, I mean, we're still talking about it at this point. Was John Walker right, right? Um, so, you know, everybody had a lot of... Um, thoughts in this particular situation but uh, you know um man um and you know one thing i think that is very clear is that this is definitely going to change the entire state of the mcu and the way people see superheroes and i i guess you know um i'm rocking my captain america bloody uh boss logic uh wallpaper there um for the phone looking real good there thank you boss logic for doing that uh, but man, the MCU is completely changed now, thanks to uh, crazy ass uh, John Walker. Well, we've said more than enough about it before, but be sure to check out the discussion series um, that we have. And I think uh, KR Presents is working on a highlighted version of it. He might have finished it by now, but I just realized it's already time for the next episode. So we'll see we'll see but we'll, we'll uh i definitely encourage you to check out some of those discussions that we have about this show without further ado let's go ahead and get into it here uh your full reaction is available on patreon make sure you check that out and here your latest reaction to falcon and the winter soldier starts now oh shit he, oh shit this motherfucker's running dude. he's running no oh, you can get blood on that uh, a on the suit on that A, but I love how they're playing a little bit of the Captain America theme song right there. All right, no, the Civil War theme song. Oh, that's dope. That's a dope shot. I killed him because I had to. He killed Lamar. He didn't he, kill Lamar. Right. Tom. You see that salute there? Oh, Jesus. You gotta give me the shield, man. Really? You don't want to do this. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Let's go! Oh shit, son. Let's go. Oh. Oh, he got the shield at least. Throw that shield to the side or something, man. Why are you making me do that? They're putting a lot of importance on that shield, though. I am Captain America. He's gonna break his arm. Oh, wait, did they paralyze him on top of that? He went from John Walker to John Cripple. These people fighting over a frisbee. Granted, a very powerful frisbee, but oh my god. To be heard. It is a mandate. I under I understand that! I understand that! I only ever did what you asked of me, what you told me to be and trained me to do, and I did it. And I did it well. Wow. You will hold no rank in retirement and receive no benefits. Wow. That's rough, buddy. I am Captain America. <laughs> Who's this? Who walks like that? Watch it be Carly? No. Who is this? Who is this? Well, these boots are not made for Walken. Valentina. Elena. Oh shit! Actually, it's Contessa. Julia Before Elaine. Us, but I don't like to What's up with that purple but hair, too? These guys in the top. I'll tell you something. It is made these very, very valuable to certain people. I, oh. I actually have the second best choice. Here's a little dirty state secret. Don't know 
we belong to the government. Kind of a, a gray area. Right. It's technically belongs to Wakanda. It's on rent. Uh, Ju- Julia Louise Dreyfus. There you go. Is she married to Richard See, Dreyfus? Or related? USC accused of the... The fuck is going on here? Oh. Ah, okay. I took the liberty of crossing off my name in your book. I hold no grudges for what you thought you had to do. I may have another favor to ask of you. What's that? What, 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 what's up? What's up? What you about to do? I wonder what Bucky's trying to do. Trying to fix his arm? Are trying to get something set up for Sam. See, by the way, we were talking about it earlier. If anybody on YouTube can help me, I need that bag. I need a bag like this. Those scars and stripes don't mean nothing good to me. You understand? They were a black man's us. Mm. Fight for this country, only to come home to find. Crosses burn on their lawn. Yeah. From the south, I get that. The entire world's been chasing that great white hope since you first got dosed with that serum. Steve did not put you in jail. That's some deep shit, though. The great white hope, man. The brass talking about blowing the POW camp to hell to hide the evidence. And what did I get for saving their lives? Jail. Oh shit! Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? Trying to figure out why the serum worked. Should look like a claw. Sam, I love you so much. <sighs> Mr. Bradley, um, but the world's different now. I know people. Man, that's why you're here. <laughs> yeah. Things are different. People, right. They erase me, my history, but they've been doing that for 500 years. <laughs> mm. Mm. Pledge allegiance to that, my brother. They will never let a black man be kept in America. Even if they did, no self respecting black man would ever want to be. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. It reminds me of talks with my grandfather. He was that same type of man. Damn, that's a hard call. And now, okay, so now we have get more of a better idea of why Sam never took it up. Because he didn't think people would ever, he didn't think the world would accept the black Captain America. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta go up. Bucky, just use your hand. Well, I don't always think of it immediately. I'm right-handed. <laughs> I'm Bucky. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> I was about to say, my 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 boy Bucky. He was in Wakanda quite some time. Uh, he got a little. Once you go black, you ain't ever going back. <laughs> my boy got that jungle fever now. John Walker is. John Walker, Cap is back. It looked like one of them 90s posters. I really need a canvas bag like that. I need that exact type of bag, y'all. Somebody help me. Help me figure that out. I checked Amazon. They're out of stock. Do I need to go to Wakanda? When Steve told me what he was planning, I don't think either of us really understood what it felt like for the black man to be handed the shield. How could we? I owe an apology. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. Now go run eight miles. <laughs> All right, let's see it. There we go. Dragons is out all episode. So you gonna have vibranium wings on top of that? Let's hope so. Come on. Let's see it. Let's go. Go. What you got? (laughs) 
I'm more or less, I'm more or less curious. I'm just more more or less curious, like how they gonna do it, like especially now. Consider, is it gonna be a full suit? Is it just the wings or what? And then on top of that, considering the fact that now it's made in Wakanda, that's got to be something awesome, man. Wakanda is going to make an American brand. That's there. There's levels and levels of depth to that. I like that. So that mean it means the new the new Captain America probably is going to be fully decked out from Wakanda and a black man. <laughs> oh, you ain't ready for that. Iron Man? Oh, God. Oh, he's making his... Speaking of making costumes... Oh, you're going to make your own shield. Okay. You know what? I can get with that. I can get with that. Okay. You spray painting that shit, though. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little cheap. Hey, John. I, bat I, I challenge you. Battle this, <laughs> this dude. This dude about to become a YouTuber. Hey y'all, what's up? It's John Walker here. Now, since the government is keeping that shield, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it in quick, four quick steps. First, you need to go to your local junkyard. Now, I personally prefer that you get some hardcore metal like die cast or something. But if you're if you're looking for some other parts, you can easily use Teflon and other sort of Japanese parts from different car bumpers. Personally, I'm going with this. Uh, but yeah, he legit makes a bootleg ass shell from the junkyard, man. That is funny. That'll be interesting, though. That will be interesting. So there you have it, folks. That was the latest episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, things are coming to a head now, and uh, the story is somewhat wrapped up. I think they handled it fairly well um, in terms of the prosecution of John Walter. Walker, I'm sorry, Walker. It, it it happened a lot faster than I thought. I think this episode was a little slow in some uh, situations and really, really intense early on. So if I were, I would, I, I honestly would have probably stretched out that scene, those scenes with John Walker a lot more. Uh, to be a little more significant or something like that throughout the episode and Sam and his boat thing was a little weird and so I you know it, I see what they were trying to do but it, it seemed like they just dropped it really early on um, the thing with John Walker the progression of John Walker into what we assume is the US agent I wish they kind of explored that like stretch that out a little bit more so when we keep on going back to sam and that goddamn boat and the progression of sam as a character we see this kind of duality between um john walker and sam you know the fact that they made john walker and i think that was a really really good point and i think that's going to get lost really early on is the fact that John Walker has followed protocol and he was the perfect soldier. He was a perfect perfect soldier and we saw but they only really had that in the really early on part of it, right? Whereas um with uh Sam, we're seeing Sam being a good man, right? And that was so important from the beginning uh what with, with the uh original science to said. It just seems like uh I would say 60 70 percent of that episode was basically about sam when i think they could have done it a little bit differently um to uh instead of making john walker the typical like throwaway uh villain throwaway marvel villain and i don't i'm not saying that that's what they're gonna do but um i felt like they kind of just gave him his or origin story really early on where they spent so much time with him early on in previous episodes that it would have been interesting to kind of, um, uh, you know, em emphasize with them a little bit more and be a little more sympathetic. Uh, it's interesting. It's really interesting to, the way that um, that legacy has really gone to his head um, being Captain America, right? He feels like that's not something that can be taken away from him like it was sort of like destiny for him and that he earned it and that it can never really be taken away um 
it is interesting in his mind how he sort of twists everything around and he sees justice for what he did and he saw like uh the way that this would like it worked out the way it was supposed to work out you know he got revenge on the killer and things like that um in the way he saw it but it's it's very interesting it's very and it, but it was really odd i feel like they probably could have drawn that out a lot more internally within the government seeing people sort of support him like or at least seeing more of his defenders i guess because this entire week ever since that episode happened last episode happened you know there's been this kind of controversy going on and then you know, there's been some some interesting people out there that have actually defended him and like you know america thanks you for your service type of th deal and you know but i feel like realistically that there's also that sort of point where people out there would have been like yeah yeah he's terrorists and um i do feel like that wasn't represented enough in the fact that you know he just killed the terrorists um you know we know the whole backstory of how it happened but it is, it's just very interesting to see how that um, how that worked out. It's a little weird that they that the government essentially just really like threw him out, like they dishonorably, uh, uh this, the, the, or wait, they discharged him without honors. I don't think they dishonorably charged him, but they just discharged him without honors. But which is wild. You know, you think that somebody, you think that they would have found some way of covering it up, right? Or they would have found some sort of PR or something like that. But it's wild that they, like, legit fired him from everything. Uh, that's a little interesting, especially because nowadays we have real life situations where cops just get fired or they get suspended with pay. And, you know, you kill a black man on the street. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because it was an international affair, affair and not a domestic situation. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, but, um, you know, Sam and the boat thing, to be honest, I don't really care about that. But it did have importance to this, this idea of uh, black America and black men in America fighting and because the whole sort of synergy with that was about history isaiah was essentially talking about it and like i said earlier uh if it gets into the reaction is um listening to isaiah isaiah was essentially like me listening to my grandfather when he was still alive and there's just such a like bitterness about the world and particularly about being a black man in America that was very nostal nostalgic listening to Isaiah uh, talk the way um, he talks, but with Sam's hopeful optimism was quite interesting to see that, you know, Isaiah basically feels like nothing will ever change. Uh, and the world will never accept a, a black Captain America now or back then or now, right? However, seeing Falcon or Sam sort of listen to him and take that in, he understands where Isaiah was coming from, um, but he's still hopefully op optimistic that he can still make some sort of change. And I think that's going to be interesting. Uh, I think they, 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 did, they handled that part really well because it... You know, Sam said it himself. What's the point? What was the point of all that fighting if we don't see it through? You know, if you just stop fighting at that point, right? Yes, Isaiah's tired. He's uh, been declared dead for the most part. Um, and he's done, right? But now it's, his, it's up for him. It's a time for him to rest, right? But we do need younger black men to sort of take off the tape take up the cause and take up the uh, pick up the good fight because you know we do need to make it better um i don't i don't particularly agree with isaiah and other people of that generation that will sometimes feel like the world has got you know gone 
you know, two, one step forward, two steps back, right? I do feel like a change has been made. Uh, not ultimately, right? Um, the whole world ain't like Wakanda, but there has been some change. Uh, speaking of which, with Wakanda, that was an interesting w way to wrap up Zemo's situation. Uh, uh, I like how they went into depth with James, um, Bucky's situation, and Bucky trying to scratch names off of his list, and trying to get over his situation, and uh, Sam still doing what Sam does best, understanding what, um, what other uh, warriors and um, what other uh, servicemen have, are going through, and he was able to really tap into Bucky and give some uh, tough love. Um, it's interesting. So ultimately, I guess the question is coming up now because we're we're almost done. One more episode to go. Is this show better than WandaVision, or is WandaVision better? Right. Um, I I'd say WandaVision is a little more engaging in terms of like as a community, as a fans to like talk about this kind of stuff. But I feel that um um. Falcon and the Winter Soldier at this moment in time has really like I wish they had more episodes that they can dig into it but I, it, there's certainly a a, a a a connection of realism and politicalness of uh, death dealing with America America's racial injustice America's the way America sees itself and then the way the rest of the world sees America. And I thought I thought that was a, they're doing it very clever where it's not too, I think this was probably the heaviest of all the episodes where they really got into it. But um, I think they're, they've been doing a decent enough job that is still entertaining to see what else is going on, right? Uh, so it, it, it's interesting to see Fal uh, Sam's growth. Um, and what I was going to mention is, um, so originally they were going to have like eight episodes or something like that but it got cut down due to COVID and a few other situations uh torres from what we know in the comics and such torres is essentially supposed to become kind of like this new pseudo falcon uh when sam becomes captain america so you know from what i've heard they really wanted to work with him and there was a huge setup for Torres to be part of the show a lot more but that got cut when they knew that they had to uh, trim down the episodes to down to six so hopefully they'll be able to bring him back and for the continuation of Sam's story and it seems that Torres would probably be the uh, uh, de facto Falcon hence the wings being left with uh, Torres at the end so I'm just very curious I, I I I they have to Sam has to have the wings he's got to have the wings the Captain America the Sam version of Captain America still has the wings that like he's gotta have it man uh, it's just gonna be crazy to see him around there with the shield like that too I I got I gotta see it's just a, how did the Wakanda how did the Wakandans know like <laughs> how did they know his measurements <laughs> how did they know his measurements his specifics how like you know i don't know i don't know I i'm really curious what's in the damn box man what's in the box anyways full reaction on patreon guys take care of yourselves uh thank you so much for everything and um we will see you on the season finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Make sure you uh, join if you want to be part of the live viewing. Follow me on Twitch, aka San underscore plays, aka San underscore plays, Akasun underscore plays. And we'll see you next week for the season finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier.